girl. <laughs> hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here, coming to you live from Ehrenberg in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic, sparkling winning Wednesday. So how did your winning Wednesday go? Did you get a chance to see the, um, the I am statement that I posted on my Facebook page? I read this morning, posted on my Facebook page about I am a winner. Um, how is your business winning Wednesday going? How did you close out? Um, did you um, celebrate your wins from August? And for your fun one, did you enjoy your favorite flavored popsicle today? Um, we are hot, hot, hot. It's currently like 106, 107 outside and inside we're in the 90s. Um, we had a guy, um, we had Jared come in this morning, he's the RV tech here at the campground and he tested the AC um, vent directly above me. The intake was at 78 and the output was at 44 which was really, really good. So that's good, it's pulling in the warm air and blowing out cold air. My new one, which is not yet a year old, which is that one up there. That's my one that's not even a year old. Intake and output were both 78, which is not good. He didn't have a chance to look at it this morning while he was here because he had other jobs to come and do. He just came over to have a quick look. We're expecting him back any time now. And then he's gonna go up on the roof and take the cover off, have a look, see if it's the coils that need to be cleaned. Um, there's the evaporation coils and the condensing coils. Um, he seems to think though that because there's no temperature difference between the intake and the outtake that it's probably the compressor. And I'm like, great, I'm heading to 108 to 118 degrees tomorrow for the next five days. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we're trying to stay as cool as possible and keeping ice in the freezer. Zephy enjoys it when I put some ice into her bowl, trying to encourage her to stay hydrated. And she'll actually go in there, lick a bit of the water and then she, um, plays that apple bobbing game trying to get the ice cube out of the water. By the time she gets out of the water, it's about half the size it was when it went in. And then she lays on the floor and crunches it <laughs> and kind of ends up chasing it around the floor as it, um, as it moves. Right now she's conked out on the floor in front of the fan. <laughs> We've got a couple of fans going, um, but um, hopefully Jared will be back shortly and we can figure out what the problem is with the back AC unit. All I know is that come seven o'clock tonight when the sun goes down, um, this AC unit above me will really kick into gear and it looks like I gotta go fix the filter in that one because it looks like the filter's pulled up on it. Um, but yeah, it's been hot. It's been slowly getting hotter and hotter and hotter throughout the day. We've got fans going. We've got, um, trying to stay as cool as we can. Um, having lots of ice. I've got bottled water and I've got um, my water con uh, containers in the fridge with water in it so that because the hose is <laughs> hot, I don't have cold running water in the RV anymore. It's all hot. The only bit that's cold is the bit that's on um, because the kitchen is on the passenger side. So that's the only bit that gets cool until the water from the hose catches up. And then we have hot water because the hose is on the driver's side, which is where the sun is. So it's laying out there in the sun. It means come tomorrow morning, it'll be easy to roll up that hose because those are those non-flex, those weird flexi hose things that are next to impossible to roll up. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try and get on the road early tomorrow morning. We've already had the email from where we're going tomorrow on how to check in. They're doing a no contact check-in. So you pull up to the gate, you get your packet, it tells you what site to go to. Um, and then the packet is all the information you need to know about the resort, um, where your site number is and everything else. So you don't even have to go into the office. I was supposed to go do laundry this morning, but it was just too damn hot. Um, <laughs> So the only things I've got left in my, in my t-shirts are all dark colors and I'm like, no, this was the lightest colored one I had today. So I do have to get laundry done. So maybe I'll go over tonight and get it done. I don't know. Um, or maybe I'll just wait till I get to wherever we're going tomorrow and get set up and get that done, depending on what happens with the AC units. Um, so, um, but Zephy had fun this morning in the dog park. She went zooming around that and all of that sort of stuff and uh, working on some new projects. Got a class I'm taking on Monday um, and I've got to get some offers, some packages put together for that class on Monday. So I've been working on, um, decided to put my marketing hat on and figure out some marketing consulting packages and stuff. So we're putting those together 
for this training that we're doing on Monday where it's going to be hands-on live training and everything else and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun I can't wait <laughs> so you're yeah, so putting some marketing packages together on um, for the marketing consulting side of things that I do and helping with um, lead generation um, client follow-up client retention relationships all that good fun stuff so um, be some new stuff coming out next week um, so yeah it's been a busy day trying to stay awake because it's just too damn hot to stay awake surprisingly I, I did fall asleep it was like 95 in the room when I went to bed last night um, just threw all the covers off the bed and slept with no covers on the bed last night because it was just too hot to have any covers on and uh, when I woke up this morning, we had gone from 95 last night, and that was probably around 11.30 when I finally got, went, decided I gotta go to bed. I was even thinking of even just laying out here on the couch because I was in direct line of this one here, but when I laid on the couch, I was like, no, this is just too damn uncomfortable. <laughs> I could have laid the couch out, um, but um, it was just too hot laying on the couch. I thought, no, I'm just gonna go lay on the bed, and we'll have the fan on us there, and just have the, cold air pushing through and uh, oh there was a nice little breeze there <laughs> um, and then when I woke up this morning the bedroom was down to like 82 so it dropped 13 degrees in five hours because I woke up at five o'clock this morning I thought I'm really not going to go back to sleep so I pick up my kindle and start reading and Zephy sleeps next to my head um, on her side of the bed where the second pillow would go and that's where she sleeps and as soon as I opened up the kindle she kind of huffed at me got up and went to the end of the bed and curled up I think I disturbed her sleep with the light from the kindle <laughs> but we have been drinking copious amounts of water today not really into eating anything it's more just sort of like staying hydrated staying away from sugars caffeine although it's a little hard to stay away from chocolate um, so I did have a piece of chocolate earlier gotta get my chocolate fix in for the day um, yeah so tomorrow we head i don't even know how far i've got to go tomorrow all i know is it's under the same extreme warning as we are here in ehrenberg um i think i'm like an hour and a half to two hours away from where we're going tomorrow so um and we're stuck there through labor weekend because there was nothing available in san diego and if there was anything available in san diego their prices were like doubled or tripled to what they normally are because it's labor weekend and i was like yeah i'm not paying those prices so I'm paying 25 bucks a night at the rv resort that we're going to which is a really really nice one it's one of, it's the first one we stayed at on our trip when we left um san diego back in february it's the first um stop that we had along the way and zephy loved the dog park there it's um it was this big pond um, not pond a big basin area that she could just she just spent ages just zooming around and around and around and around um so yeah so she had a lot of fun in that one so anyway that's it from us today we will keep you up we may do another update like we did last night on the heat and to how we're going I don't even want to go into the bedroom and have a look to see what the temperatures are I know that I think we're like 92 where I am here and if I go into the bedroom it's like 98 probably maybe over 100 by now um, who knows but I just hope that Jared remembers to come back tonight and have a look at our AC so we can at least get another working AC because one AC in these temperatures is not gonna cut it um, but I am researching other methods right now. With the help of my Fleetwood Bounder group, we are researching other methods, coming up with other ideas. Um, yeah, the Reflectix is working great because it's keeping it cooler in here than it is outside. Um, not as well as I would like it to be, but then we don't have the ACs working as they should either. So um, it'll be interesting, but we'll keep you posted. And once Jared has been here tonight to check on everything, um, we'll, let, we'll give you an update and let you know what's happening. So have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will catch you guys later. Heck on era.